Just when you think it's all over, more keeps popping up. As you guys may remember, a couple of weeks ago I made a video documenting the claims and allegations around Asia Argento and the hypocrisy of the Me Too movement. Well, if these aren't bad enough, this will shock you. Not only has she been accused of raping an underage boy, grooming him from a child, blackmailing him into sending her news when he was 12, throwing her dead ex Anthony Bourdain who committed suicide under the bus to take the fall, and sending unsolicited news to a recovering sex addict, now she's claiming that Jimmy Bennett raped her. That's right, she's now claiming to be the victim after being caught out. Let's read along, shall we? Azia Argento claims she's the victim of sexual attack by former co-star Jimmy Bennett. Actress issued a new statement via her lawyer, which claims that she was the victim of the alleged incident, not Bennett. Azia Argento's new lawyer has issued a statement which claims she is the victim of a sexual attack by her former co-star Jimmy Bennett. Last month, it was reported that Argento had arranged for Bennett to be paid $380,000 to keep a potential lawsuit at bay, after he claimed that she gave him alcohol and had sex with him in May of 2013 when he was 17 years old. In California, the legal age of consent is 18. Bennett claimed that he suffered from emotional distress after the alleged incident and consequently saw his income drop from 2.7 million to 60,000. Argento's representative claimed that her boyfriend at the time, the late Anthony Bourdain, chose to cover the cost of the settlement to protect Azia's and his reputation, which was vulnerable to embarrassment because they were early and prominent supporters of the Me Too movement. In the new statement obtained by Rolling Stone, her lawyer claims that she did not initiate the encounter. Instead, she became frozen when Bennett allegedly got on top of her and that she chose at the time not to prosecute. It goes on to state that she will not permit any portion of the balance left from the settlement between her and and Bennett to pay for this falsely alleged incident. The statement also reportedly makes new allegations against Bennett, including a claim that in 2014 he was charged by the LA Police Department for unlawful sex with a minor, stalking, child pornography and child exploitation. The magazine said it was unable to locate any reporting from the time about the alleged incident and was unable to reach either Argento's lawyer or Bennett's own legal representative. Argento initially denied having any sexual relationship with Bennett, however text messages reportedly sent by her to model Rain Dove appear to contradict this. Dove, who has been romantically involved with prominent Me Too campaigner Rose McGowan, provided the New York Police Department with the messages in which McGowan allegedly admitted, I had sex with him, Bennett. It felt weird. That's wrong because that should be Argento. I'm just going to point that out there. McGowan severed ties with Argento after the messages came to light announcing that she felt betrayed by her former friend and urging her to do the right thing, be the person you wish Harvey Weinstein could have been. Argento's lawyer's statement says it hopes she will be cleared in the court of public opinion regarding the alleged incident with Bennett and continues to argue that she was the victim of a sexual attack and might even be suffering the fallback of a smear campaign. That last paragraph is the most important. She's seen that people aren't believing her stories, so she's claiming to be the victim and not the perpetrator. And unfortunately, some people will buy it. After all, he was a teenage boy and of course, all he thinks about is sex, so it wouldn't be beyond him to be a rapist. I am sick of these double standards. It's about time people started looking at women as potential monsters they're capable of being rather than these pansy little victims who can do no wrong. I'm sorry Azia, but I don't believe you. There's a mountain of evidence that shows that you're the perpetrator, not the victim, but you expect us to take your word for it just because you happen to have a vagina? Sorry darling, that's not going to happen. People can see through you. Stop trying to limit the backlash against you. It won't work. Anyways guys, usual links are in the description. Consider clicking them and supporting this channel. Videos should become a little bit more regular over the next few weeks as I'm on nights and we'll have more time during the day. See you all in the next one. Bye, have a beautiful time.